Here he is, yeah. mate. Morning, Morning, Max. Morning. Uh, day after the game, how's the body? Uh, yes, yeah, sh- uh, shocking. I was shocking. shocking. I was about to give a different. Uh, That's okay. <laughs> um, yes. I mean, you hits. don't have to say which bit hurts most in yeah. case uh, the opposition target that area. But general, are we putting this into the category of general soreness? Uh, as I've gotten older, my hips get worse and worse Do in they? terms of pulling up. They're fine game day. It's so not, not an osteopubis issue. No, I'm not too worried if Hawthorne know my hips get sore the day <laughs> yeah. after a game. Target oh. his hips. <laughs> target his hips. <laughs> the hips don't like us. <laughs> Who's playing Shakira? <laughs> <laughs> they do tend to get better throughout the week. And just off air, we were saying Hawthorne have got no children attached to their playing group. Yes. And you were just saying you've got 17 with two on the way. 17 wow. with two on the way. Wow. We, are, yeah, we are peak kids at the moment. And we saw young George uh, with you. If you watched the game, George was there. You were holding him for the song. And he yeah. didn't love it, it's fair to say. He was a bit overwhelmed by the song. <laughs> no, and he's um he's, he's quite funny. Like when I, we talk about his day when before he goes to bed, mm. um, it's a nice moment for a uh, mm. Dad and son, mm. and he sung the theme song, pretending like he sung that really happily yeah. during the. Song. Oh, that's <laughs> he right. thought he thought he was happy. Yeah. Well, at um, least he remembers it in a. But he's also singing way. that for you to say, Dad, listen to how I ripped it out in the rooms, <laughs> yeah, and you're like, correct. well, that's not actually how it went, mate. You yeah. were crying like a baby. Yeah, he hasn't. <laughs> he hasn't. I said, what, I asked him what he's scared of, and he said, Dada. So I'm not. Uh. I'm not sure where I'm sitting. Right. With him <laughs> right. At the yeah. Okay. I've, maybe it's a version of you he doesn't see a lot. Yeah. I get Do you know what I mean? Maybe. Only every week. Yeah. He doesn't see you post game up close and personal, yep. being that man, that alpha male in the rooms. That maybe could, could be right. Maybe he's like. Who's this mm, bloke? Covered yeah. in sweat and zinc. This isn't the yeah. guy who's down on the carpet with me in the yeah. lounge room. That's maybe George truck. and I come in for a session with you. Yeah, it's easy, little... mate. Two and a half grand and we've got it covered. (laughs) (laughs) Um, It says here, Max returned to his destructive best versus the Western Bulldogs. Uh, Here's Mark Robinson's quote. You know, Robbo with the toenails. Uh, Here's his quote. Let's have a look at what Robbo reckons. That is the Melbourne team, which is widely respected, tough around the contest, fierce in defence, multiple straight kicking forwards and a quartet of leaders, Max Gorn, Clayton Oliver, Christian Petrarca and Jack Viney, who dictated the attitude. Mm. I love that. Clay yeah, Oliver's now good. a leader. <laughs> yeah, he's a leader. He's, he's gone from the doghouse <laughs> <laughs> to the podium <laughs> in the space of about 12 weeks. You must feel pretty proud of him after that performance yesterday. Uh, yeah, the, the moment coming off the ground was pretty special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a good chat. Um, even, even Goody got really hyped up and got, and, and, and got involved. Um, what did he do? Buy a couple of schooners for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> he um he had a moment, Clayton, late in the game where he could have made the moment about him and kicked yeah. a goal from fifty and still passed it off. So, mm. um, I think I said this uh, when he was returning round one. Um, uh, Clayton Oliver, that's just out there to try and win the respect of the AFL community's teammates and opposition, is a pretty dangerous Clayton Oliver because mm. he's going to be a selfless mm. um, teammate. So um, he had. Multiple disposals on the weekend. I think he had the lead. 35. 35 yeah. He's kind of blazing back into the AFL. But it was more he did it all with a pretty big grin on his face. So. Yeah, he yeah. seems to be enjoying his footy. Yeah. Uh, he's a redhead. You were all slathered in sunscreen. Yeah, yeah we are saying off here, so Petraka's got the zinc mm. on the... And, but, Petraka does a lot of things for his look, like the mm. boots. He was wearing those really out there, the the oh, new yeah. TMs. Are they yeah. orange? Were they yeah. orange? And Chad Warner. I think Chad Warner Chad wore, was them, wearing, wore yeah. them in the op- opening game. And he puts a lot of zinc on, so it must be the like a Gen Z, like good looking thing. Like, yeah, it okay. Must be, yeah. Yeah. It looked like a geisha. Yeah. He did. He, did. Uh, uh, he took me out for drinks. We had a wonderful tea ceremony. <laughs> we, he was cute. He looked really lovely. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> are we That's gonna... great. That's great. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> In 20 years' time, are we going to have class actions against the AFL for not telling us that we needed to wear sunscreen at an outdoor sport with short sleeves? Uh, well, Is this where we're heading? Is this where we're heading? Where we're heading? Uh, well, I, I I put sunscreen on and I wear zinc on my head. Are there, is there sunscreen available in the change rooms for the playing group for every match? <laughs> Not provided by the AFL, provided by Melbourne Football Club. Isn't that right. interesting? Oh. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Little story here. It's brewing. It's brewing. Little story. <laughs> yeah. uh, has the AFL ever said to you, be careful in the sun? What is this? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not that exact quote, no. Interesting. <laughs> Put it on the socials, it's Christian. A, it's not a story. It's not a story. Uh, let's come back, uh, talk about the round ahead. Or actually, we'll just talk about the round from the weekend. Uh, yep. Here's an interesting one that William's been banging around. 
First time in VFL AFL history that both reigning grand finalists have started the season, none and two. First time ever. Yeah, I, I think I signed off on Friday saying I, I wish that happens. You picked it. I picked it. Yeah. Well done. Uh, let's have a look at the round. Uh, Carlton Richmond started it for us on Thursday night. Carlton got over the line by under a goal. Uh, well, I think we already talked about that one. Yeah. Uh, we talked about that last I think Friday. We Cut uh, out Carlton. Collingwood, Sydney. Friday night. This was fun to watch, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. <laughs> Ten nine plays fifteen twelve. The Swans getting up there. That's, They're good. They, they must be because when it, that's yeah. a big win. When a team beats you, do you enjoy seeing them beat someone good the next week? Does it kind of justify it a bit? Yeah, and we also think we played really bad as well, so yeah. it makes us maybe our best is somewhere near Sydney as well. Yeah. Um, no, I, that was they. They're pretty special. Um, goal kicking midfielders. Mm. Um, their tools look good. They we've McLean and Amadi. I've rated for years, and now they're looking like they're going to be the buddy replacements. And I mean, no one can replace a thousand goals, buddy. But mm. no, um, no, they look they look they look the part. As do the other Sydney team as well. Yeah. Um, mm. Bombers got over the line against the Hawks. There was um, a bit of line in the sand to start. Oh, I, was, yeah. I was thinking there was going to be a bit of a brawl. There was. I mean, I think Sicily. Sicily. He's he missing, got a week. He's missing our game. Yeah, for kicking Andy McGrath. Well, he can accept a week. What do you mean, kicked him? He was kind of on the. He was falling to the ground. He's yeah. oh. put, put, but it's, what, it was Beckham a, style. It was a, Beckham a, style. Not that. It wasn't. It was very soft. But yeah. still. They were all sort of surrounding him, and then he just he just went for one. Yeah. Um, I Kick. love I love Sicily. I, I think he's great, <laughs> um, but maybe he's had a miss here. Uh, yeah, I think Hawks shot himself in the foot a bit. I'm presuming um, they think they should have won that game, and they'll well, come seven out. Well, 5 plays eleven seventeen. Max accuracy yeah. would have got them over the line, and they'll come out probably pretty angry against us, which would be good. <laughs> you, you got them next week. Yes. Um, GWS playing North. I thought we'd lose by ten goals, so I was happy it was only six. <laughs> oh, but look at look at GWS seventeen nineteen. Yeah. I struggle with this time slot, Marty. Um, <laughs> did yeah. you watch it? I saw bits of it. Yeah. I, well, I'm presuming North played pretty well. They I, played I, really well. It was tighter at half time as well, I think. Yeah, yeah. They were in it. They were right in it for a lot of it. 13 4. Good accuracy. Yeah. My man Jesse Hogan just winding back the clock. He could he could win the Coleman. Yeah. He's had a good start. Yeah. The you, usuals. Look like, you look like Hogues a bit. Really? Yeah. Oh, I haven't had that by one. far. Mm. Oh. Who do you get mainly? Um, Kim Cattrall. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's Kim Cattrall. Yeah. Very similar. Very all, similar. All, all, all the time. Geelong St Kilda look like a tight one. Ten sixteen plays nine fourteen. Yeah, I I knew that I was coming into um, review games, so I tried to watch this game. But the Melbourne Storm game was on at the same time. That Brutal. Was a and that was. Yeah. Epic. I watched the second half. Um, so of I'll, it. I'll give you a great recap on Storm. Yeah. Um, all I know is Danger got a dicey free kick, but went back and slotted it. Yeah, yeah I, don't know. <laughs> no. I don't know how dicey that was. He he took the moment, though. You've yeah, got to respect did. him. He did. For a, for a guy his age, he's still yeah. very, very talented. He's a good player. Yeah. He's oh, a very yeah. good player. He's a seven, eight-time all Australian. Yeah. Something yeah, incredible. Eight, yeah. Uh, Gold Coast Adelaide uh, ended up being tight eight, 12 plays eight, six. I tuned out when this was 50 to six or something. Mm. Adelaide just kicked the last seven, did they? And it was monsoonal up there. Yeah, they came home strong. That's the the worst. We're talking about Troy. That's yeah. the worst conditions is hot, humid, and then add a bit of rain. Oh. Yeah, awful. Oh, you don't even want to be playing footy. You're out there, especially as a ruckman, because you just got, you end up having <laughs> 400 ruck contests and you know you can't take a mark. Yeah. Because like, the ball's so wet. Yeah. Just get going, please. Mm. How'd you go with your straight arm thing? Did you get to operate any of that over the weekend? <laughs> Let's, uh, let's, <laughs> so there's a very popular opinion that this rule suits me. Yeah. Um, I think it suits the guys that stay down more. Because and this is, of course, now in the ruck, you can you your, can fend off with a straight arm. Yes. Which previously you couldn't. And when you jump, I've usually been able to disguise my arm a lot. I get pinned maybe one in every four games. When you stay down and put your arm out, you get pinned every single time. So it looks like a push. There's been, I mean, how many games has there been? Four plus nine, 13 games. I reckon... 90% of ruck, centre bounce ruck contests, no one's jumped because yeah. everyone's trying to stay down now and just put their arm out. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. The so, evolution of taking the jump out of the ruck. Yeah. So well done, AFL. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> and I'm not sure if they'll be over the moon with that. So I'm sure no. some sort of rule will come back where people will start jumping again. Oh, they'll re-tinker. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be a lot of tinkering left. Uh, Melbourne Bulldogs, which of course you were involved in a great win, 109 plays 64. The Bulldogs mm. are a funny club. I, I can't wait. I haven't been able to work them out for about three years. Yeah, we got a little little rivalry with them. Yeah, it's um, a good rivalry. It's a good rivalry. We played some song that they thought they had copyright um, on. 
Free from Desire, Free from which, Desire. Is, which is a great yeah. song. Yeah. We still play it. It's mm. great. Mm. Um, and, yeah, since then, we've sort of had a little argy-bargy. There's players. We've got Lockie Hunter. They've got um, James Harms, Oscar Baker. Um, Harmsy tried to have a little go at Stephen May. Uh, which well, was, which well, was which Entrecourt. Was, Entrecourt. Yeah, it's and especially. Yeah, yeah. Hard work, that should be. Like when uh, when uh, Tommy Radonikus said in the old days where he was going to shout out. Uh, what was he going to shout out? Queenslander. No, Blue Heeler, I think, was the code word for the New South Wales Origin team to put just a stink on straight away as yeah. soon as they heard Tommy shout it out. It's Entrecourt for you, boys. <laughs> Simon, <laughs> Simon Goodwood. Entrecourt! That's the sign they hold up on the set. <laughs> it's in digital letters, entrecote, and then another guy, just for fun, brings out the prop, which is the reception desk, and that comes out that, onto the grass. And that gets broken. And that yeah. gets broken, yeah. and then entrecote unfolds. And then we don't win a game for another two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a good win, Max. All the all the usuals you would expect and hope played well for Melbourne did, including May himself. Well, I mean, the one that really excites me is Bailey Fritch didn't kick a goal. Yeah. yeah. And he's kicked a goal in almost every game. It doesn't really excite me, but, no, but I'd rather him kicking goals. A good spread of blokes that did. Yeah, especially Kay Chandler and Jacob Van Royen getting involved. Mm. Uh, Port v. West Coast, bit of a, you know, what it was, 16-24. Yeah. Club record, will you? Club record behind, yeah. Yeah, I missed a lot of this. Um, <laughs> you would have, yeah. yeah. So I actually watched the last quarter. Yeah. And I've got poured in two weeks, so I'm always keen to see the ruck battle. And Soldo looked good. Yeah, kicked he two did, out. didn't he? Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting ready for that game. That's my fo- the one after Hawks, so I'm looking into Soldo. Mm. I'd say instructions not to kick to the open side would be my advice to him if I was coaching. Was he? Was he, was he, he did a couple, couple that were just kicks. like, whoa, 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 oh, no, mate. <laughs> Stick I, it up the line. When I do something that a midfielder tends to do when I stuff it up, yeah. the runner is out within the minute. And of we don't course. even need to talk. We just look at each other and yeah. he goes, yeah. Yeah, Goody, Goody basically said you're a prick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a wild, <laughs> yeah, a wild handball. Yeah. Uh, I did have a wild 50. handball. <laughs> yeah. no, one, well, no one needed to tell me that because the whole doggies team decided to tell me that. Did yeah. they? Yeah. Reminded you, Max. Yeah, then. Uh, Frio Brisbane to finish the round. Brisbane are having an interesting start to the year, aren't they, for a team that looks so great. They, so great at the back the end. Four as well. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm actually, there's a sad story. Oscar McDonald. Who would have thought two McDonald's would have been back playing round one in the back line? Um, but Oscar Oscar hurt his knee uh, after Awful. getting back from two years being in Williamstown. Played round one, earned his spot for Frio. Um, he's got scans today, uh, and I th- they're saying that it might not be ACL. Which oh is God, I hope yeah. it's not. Promising. There's been some ACLs. So many. So many. Yeah. Well, that, that would be five. five. Yeah. That yeah. would be five in the first. Well. Games. Two, I've got two, the two I've got the theory on the short grass, but we don't know why. Yeah, no, you love that, that theory, actually, and, the, yeah. and it's anecdotal at best. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a theory on playing round one against a team that has not played yet? As in, you had played two games, uh, sorry, one game by, by the time the Bulldogs had played their first one. Do you think you were more fit or, or ready for it? Well, I mean, it was going that way for that story to have a bit of credit until yeah. Fremantle until Pump Brisbane. Yeah. yeah. Um, so now that story has no credit. But did you feel <laughs> better at the um, end of your second game? Well, yes, but we had a terrible conditions for our first game. Yeah, so that's I, true. I felt like we felt better just based on conditions. But um, certainly good for having the game under the belt. But then yeah. you could say they were fresher as well. Yeah, true. So into Clubland now for a bit of what? Ice bathy, rub downy, light treadmill, laughs, toasted sandwich. You've nailed the recovery. (laughs) (laughs) It's exactly in that order. And then perhaps uh, afternoon at home doing your own thing before. What's tomorrow look like? What's Tuesday look like in Clubland? Yeah, I'll I'll catch up on some sleep today. I wake up post wins at 4 a.m. buzzing, wanting the day to start. Um, Watched some episodes of Schitt's Creek. Good. Nice. Nice. Eugene Levy. Uh, Know him famously from American Pie. Of course. Yeah, well, Um, there's other stuff you should get into if you you're a fan. Yeah, uh, go on. His Christopher Guest movies, like yep. Best in Show. Mm. Uh, what was the other big one that he did? Anyway, you'll find him if you get <laughs> <laughs> Probably stayed on American Pie for too long. He was that one character that oh, stayed in the next yeah. seven American Hangs Pies. Yeah. We watched yeah. it the night before much. Will's wedding. Me and Dino. You know Dino? Yeah. We watched uh, American Pie and they get their terrible movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, was in the f- he was in the, um, the folk band Christopher Guest movie. What was that called? Um... I, I apologise for taking this yeah, down. Yeah, we can do that. Max. <laughs> Please don't ever apologise, Max, for letting me ramble on about something I half know. Uh, <laughs> That's actually my for, specialty. For your consideration? Could no. be, yeah. For your consideration. Yeah. Um, yes. Max, enjoy your afternoon. Thank you. Uh, good luck. Uh, we'll have you in on Friday and yep. we can talk about the weekend's footy then.